If you got hit by a truck after you got your vaccine, that was reported to the Vaccine Adverse Event Reporting System. We at CDC have a responsibility to comb through every single one of them to review the medical charts and to see if they are related. It is the case that the vaccine doesn't prevent Ms. being Ms. hit. Ms. Walensky, I'll reclaim yes. my time. You did nothing about that and continue to push vaccines. That's what the American people care about. We review all of the things that come into the vaccine ad adverse event reporting system. I'd be happy to have our staff educate your staff on the work. I don't want my staff educated. You should educate the American people about what you've done of 1.5 million reports because they feel like you've done nothing and continue to say okay. safe and effective. Generally, I don't believe that you can trust the things that come out of Marjorie Greene's mouth. But when she says, I don't want my staff educated, I'm gonna give her the benefit of the doubt. <laughs> I think that one's an honest one. What they're talking about there, that's Marjorie Green, who is somehow a congresswoman. I keep checking and it keeps checking out that she was elected to Congress. As well as Dr. Rochelle Walensky, outgoing director of the CDC, talking once again about the VAERS system. So you might have heard of this. It was a, a big focus of Alex Jones, sorry, I mean Tucker Carlson. It is in reality a publicly available searchable database of reports that have not been verified. It simply contains whatever people have voluntarily reported. Moreover, the CDC and FDA do not restrict what people can report as long as it happened at some point following a vaccination. So you can have 1.5 million reports that mean absolutely nothing, or they can mean something, or they can be really bad. The sheer number of reports means almost nothing, or I should say, I'm gonna qualify that. It would have meant, almost nothing pre pandemic, okay? Because at that point, it was still something that people can voluntarily put information on. It's there to be looked into. It is not there because it's proof of something bad. The reason I wanna nuance that is, we're now a couple of years into Tucker Carlson and Marjorie Green and other right wingers convincing people that if something appears in VAERS, then it's going to buttress their argument. So do you think nobody's taken advantage of that since then? Nobody is trying to game the system after everyone they love and trust in right wing media has been telling them that VAERS is proof of all of this. Look, there are reactions to vaccines as there are reactions to every medication. And in fact, back in January of 2021, VAERS had logged at that point less than 1300 reports of adverse events following the Moderna vaccine. 108 of them were flagged for further review, which they were reviewed. 10 of those cases turned out to be anaphylaxis, a severe allergic reaction. Now, some of those people already had a history of anaphylaxis um, you know, disconnected from vaccines specifically. But they did use the experience that people had to change how the vaccines were administered. That's why you had to wait around and people watched you and there were warnings about those reactions. They did exactly what Marjorie Green says she wants them to do. What they didn't do is what she hopes they would do, which is go way beyond the scientific evidence to pretend that vaccines are terrible for you. Because that is the point of this entire thing. Marjorie Green didn't want you to get vaccinated. She doesn't want anyone to get vaccinated because she doesn't want anyone to think that doctors are reliable, that the CDC knows what they're doing, or that COVID was a bad thing. All of that just happened to be because Donald Trump was president when COVID hit. He decided not to do anything about it. And so the right was forced into the position of pretending that it wasn't a problem that actually had to be solved. Okay. JR, what do you think? Well, yeah, this is, you talked about the illustration of what she doesn't want <laughs> her staff to be educated on. Uh, but to educate the American people, this is a big illustration of exactly the purpose of why Marge is even doing this in the first place. You have an expert come in, you have the director of the CDC. If you don't think she's an expert, fine. You at least have someone that's a part of the process to ask questions, which she did. To then the response to those answers being, no, that's not what I wanted you to say. What the hell is she there for? She's there for those political points that Marge wanted to score, not to actually get the answers. because if She's concerned about the reports that are coming in through theirs. And what is it they're doing about those reports coming in through theirs? You would ask those questions. And after she gives you the answer and says, I can detail it more later by educating your staff on it. Since you guys apparently don't know how this works, that's not what she wants because that's not fulfilling her political wins that she thinks she's getting. Also, um, She's going off of this system again, and if she was educated on it, she would understand. There's crime tip hotlines when someone's on the run and there was a murder or something. And they're like, we're looking for this guy, You know, all points bulletin to the community. Let us know if you have any tips. Ask any 
investigative police force, how many tips they get that turn up to nothing. Yeah. Because people can just give whatever they want and it's helpful. Cool, give it all. We have to go through and investigate each of these tips to see if it comes to something. Now, if they're coming to something, then we'll do something about that tip. All she's trying to do is explain to us, we're looking through the tips. And when something pans out, we announce it. That's all, that's all. That's but all. that doesn't win any political points for Marge. Check out the Damage Report podcast each day, wherever you get your podcasts, whether Pocket Casts or Stitcher or iTunes. You can join me as I give you the news and stories you want, with a range of co hosts and interview guests jumping in on the fun each day. Again, that's the Damage Report, wherever you get your podcasts. And if you get them at iTunes, don't forget to rate and review. Sometimes I'll read them live on the show.